first him. Oh, come, oh, only faithful. Yeah, yeah. Shall we pray together? Loving God, 
we confess our sins against you and one another, and pray that you would fill us with your light, that we may live our lives as true disciples in your name, without counting the cost. In the name of Christ, the one who shows us the way, we pray. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy on you and set you free from sin. Strengthen you in goodness and keep you in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we stand for the glory of <laughs> Glory to God, God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And the colleague for today can be found on the pure leafers. Almighty God, you have given us your only begotten Son, to take our nature upon him, and as at this time to be born of a pure virgin. Grant that we who have been born again and made your children by adoption and, and grace may daily be renewed by your Holy Spirit. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God, now and forever. Amen. The Lord of our hearts and minds, by the power of your Holy Spirit, that, the, that as the scriptures are read and your word is proclaimed, we may hear with joy what you say to us today. Amen. The first reading is taken from the prophet to Isaiah, chapter 9. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy in the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For they yoke their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppression. You have broken them as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and for all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us, authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is called, now Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace to the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 96. O oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Let his name in all the world. O oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Tell of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvellous work among all the peoples. For great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. He is to be revered above all gods. For all the gods of, of the peoples are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Honour and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, O families of the peoples, Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due to his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in holy splendour. 
tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king, the world is firmly established, it shall never be moved. He will judge up the peoples with equity, let the heavens be glad, and let the earth rejoice. Let the sea roar, and let all that fills it, let the field exult, and everything in it. Then shall all the trees of the forest sing for joy before the Lord, for he is coming, for he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge them with righteousness, and the peoples with truth. O oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Bless the Lord. The second letter is taken, second reading is taken from the letter to Titus, chapter 2. For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all, training us to renounce impiety and worldly passions, and in the present age to live lives of self control, upright and godly, while we wait for the blessed, to be, for the blessed hope and the manifestation of the glory of our great God and Saviour Jesus Christ. He it is who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify for himself a people of his own who are zealous for the good deeds. This is the word of the Lord. The gradual hymn is the second one, Joy to the World. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, in the city of David, called Bethlehem, because he was a, a descendant from the house of the family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. When they were there, the time came for her to deliver the child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth 
and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then the angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy with, for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find the child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angels a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace amongst those whom he favours. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. So before we get into the sermon proper, I thought I'd show you something. Do we all know what this is? Yeah. No. It's a Christmas cracker. Right. So I decided to do this Christmas cracker sermon the day before Christmas Eve, and a bit like Mary and Joseph fell apart somewhere at the inn <laughs> to stay overnight. I went to the whole of Collis Key, every shop in Collis Key, every shop in Shot, and every shop in Flint, and the only ones we could find was about 12 in the, in the end of the luxury crackers. <laughs> now, I know we're talking about Jesus today, so they should be luxury, but I've got a few here, and I thought it'd be lovely for us to start snapping them, because there's things inside them that mean a lot. So I'm going to ask Stephen, do you think you can, as many as there are here, just share them about with people? I'd love to have given you one each, and I would have done had we not. I'd already spent fifty pounds on it. Here at George's pocket, so we thank George. <laughs> Thanks, George. Oh, one. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we'll take Yeah, you can tell there were no other ones left, can't you? <laughs> To bed. And then if there's two, get rid of the last two, Stephen, so if anybody wants them. There's one more, who wants one more? Yeah, oh, yeah. my arm. <laughs> it's hard to win over it now. <laughs> right, so we're going to pull them in three, two, one. Give them a pull. Right, so hopefully inside them there should be three things at least. There should be a joke. We all got a joke. There should be a gift. And there should be a crown. A crown or a hat. If you've got a crown or a hat, it'd be nice to wear it, wouldn't it? On oh. <laughs> oh, Christmas Day. <laughs> It's getting everything out now. The first crown, I can see the first crown there. Lovely. Has it gone missing as a carrot? Have you got the crown? Oh, you look lovely. Lovely, Dorothy. Lovely, Denise over there. Is it the gold crown? Have we got what? <laughs> now. Is anybody willing to read out one of the jokes they've got? Yeah, yeah. What do you get if you get if you eat Christmas decorations? Gingerlighters. Oh, oh. terrible! <laughs> Next one. <laughs> Any more from you all? Yeah. What do you call a boomerang that doesn't come back? A stick. A stick. That is atrocious, that one, isn't it? Oh, I can't see it. You can read that one. I can't see it. 
It's reading it, isn't it? Yeah. Harris, can you read them? Have you got one? Who hides in the bakery at Christmas? Don't know. Mince pie. Oh, that's not a bad one, actually. Mince pie. I might use that one later. I will admit what, to something funny. Why was Cinderella no good at football? Why was Cinderella no good at football? Yeah. Because had glass shoes. Because her coach was a pumpkin. Oh. 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 Dear. They're not good, are they? These are luxury yeah. crackers. They're grown as aren't they? <laughs> I want to admit something that happened in one of the crackers as a joke about a chicken. I don't know if anybody got that one. But in it yesterday, it was quite funny in church because I thought I heard someone say to me, chicken's butt. And I said, I'm sure they wouldn't have said chicken's butt in a Christmas cracker. Do you know I didn't say butt, I said butt. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to get me here and test it at some point this year. Now, crackers are a brilliant thing to have at Christmas because they remind us as Stephen has his t-shirt on today, about the reason for the season, which is Jesus. The joke, for a start, reminds us that Jesus brings us great joy. Crackers always have jokes in them, and I hate reading the crackers around the table because they really are quite bad, aren't they? But jokes are brilliant because they do make us laugh. And they really bring us some joy. And I've always believed that God has blessed us with the ability to understand humour and to have a really good laugh at times. I'm sure there are times in the Bible where Jesus is doing just that. Especially when he sees the things that Peter gets up to and he must be like, oh, face art moment. So the joke reminds us that God sent Jesus to bring great joy. Secondly, the present reminds us that Jesus is God's gift to us. Crackers have a gift in them. The present reminds us that God sent Jesus as a gift. Jesus was very valuable and very precious, and he is the best present that God could give us. I'm sure there's lots of things that we would like in our life at Christmas, but there is no better gift for Christians than the gift of Jesus in our lives. Thirdly, the crown reminds us that Jesus is a king. Crackers always have those hats or crowns in them. And I know we feel really embarrassed to wear the ones in crackers, especially when we're all eating. And everybody has it on at the start of the pudding, everybody's got the hats on. <laughs> but actually, a bit like that uncomfortability of wearing them, there were times when Jesus had to make some really hard decisions as king. But he made them for our freedom. Even though we can't physically see him, he is looking after everything and making sure we're okay. This last year, I'm sure you'll agree, has been really, really tough. It has, we've had sickness, people have doubted their faith, and we've definitely got fed up of lockdowns. I, I can't be the only one thinking that. If we take anything away from our service this Christmas, it's that Jesus was born to bring love into the world to be with everyone in their struggle and pain, and to bless us with his joy and peace. So if you get another chance later on to pull a cracker with a loved one, just remember that Jesus brings us great joy. He is God's gift to us, and he is our king. Have a wonderful Christmas. Know you are loved and cherished, and may that bring peace and hope into your lives. Amen. Time for the affirmation of faith. Do you believe and trust in God the Father? I believe and trust in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe and trust in His Son Jesus Christ? I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. Who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe and trust in the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of the saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, 
and the life everlasting. Amen. And now let us pray. Almighty Father, we rejoice in the coming of our Christ our Lord. We pray that as he has taken on our humanity, through your grace and goodness, we may share in your divinity and so partake in the radiance of your glory. Through him who came down for us and is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Holy and lowly one, Jesus, friend and brother, we rejoice in your coming among us. You come down to lift us up. You come as the light to our darkness. We welcome and adore you. We pray for your church throughout the world. May we reveal your saving power and abide in your love. We pray for the work of the church among the poor and the outcasts of the world. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Prince of Peace, we pray for the peace of Jerusalem, for peace in the Holy Land for peace among nations and goodwill throughout this world. For the communities to which we belong and the places where we work, that they may know your presence and your peace. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Lord, born at Bethlehem, we pray for our families for all with whom we will share this Christmas time. We rejoice in their love and your love for us all. We remember absent friends and loved ones and all who will be alone this Christmas time without friends or families. And remember all who are having to self-isolate because of this new wave of the coronavirus. God, may you protect everyone who is ill at this time and know that they are with you this Christmas time. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. At this time of joy and rejoicing, we remember all who are sad, all whose lives are full of sorrow, fear or darkness. We pray for all who are in care, in hospital or in a hospice. We remember those who have no home and will sleep rough this night. We pray for friends and loved ones who are ill. And here we remember in our prayers Liz Fenlon and Shirley Wright and all those known to us at this time. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We rejoice with all who have entered into the fullness of your presence all who are at peace in your kingdom. We pray for friends and loved ones departed, and here we remember the souls of Hazel Pearson and Cornelius Sean Burke. Lord, in your mercy, Amen. in a moment of silence, let us offer up our own prayers to God. 
our own thoughts and our own petitions this Christmas tide. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. And finally, God, we ask that you heal the world. You fill empty hearts. You feed the hungry. Free lost souls. Fight coronavirus. And forge us towards peace. In your newborn Son's name, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Merciful Father. I accept these prayers. For the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. And we pray the prayer of humble access again. We pray prayer number one. We do we not presume to come to this your table, merciful Lord, Lord, trusting in our unrighteousness, but in your manifold and great mercies. We are not, not worthy so much as to gather, gather up the crumbs under your table, but you are the same Lord, whose nature is always to have mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of our dear Son Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. The notices, uh, you will notice on your pew leaflets that there are no services in Conestry tomorrow. Uh, they've got a, um, a joint mission area service, St Andrew's Church in Garden City. And that's at half past nine, so get up early folks if you want to go. <laughs> um, you also notice that there are no midweek services. Uh, this week. We start those again the first week in January. But the rest of the notices you'll find on the leaflet if you'd like to take them home and pursue them in, in your own time. Then that's it. Now would you stand for the peace? Oh, there is one more if you don't mind me. Yes, there we go. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think it has to be pointed out. Alex has put a note here uh, about not contacting her after 8 o'clock at night. Um, people are, get, are getting in touch with her at all times of night and it's just nothing important. Unless it is an absolute emergency, could you please not contact her after 8 o'clock at night? Okay? Well, thank you. Thank, thank you for that, because I was getting messages from 7 till like 11.30 when I was actually in bed trying to get to sleep. And just before uh, December when I got ill, really ill, they were just coming every single day. It was just too much. So, and, I th and it is the easiest way to get to me, but if you can think about it, just send the message before then, if that's all right. You're absolute stars. And uh, can I also thank you for all the love, all the prayers, because... I, I got a taste back about 50% now. <laughs> and I could smell things. I, I could smell the paint. That's when I first knew it, Liz, didn't I? Yeah. I walked in and I could smell the paint. And I was like, oh, thank you, Lord. <laughs> so thank you. It's so nice to have Christmas back to normal for me now. George is still trying to get better. In, in the evening, he's finding it hard a bit. Um, but, um, yeah, so if you want to keep someone in your prayers, if you just can continue to keep him. Because if you remember, he had pneumonia last year, and I think that's made it worse for him. <laughs> Do that. Squirt a bit of the old gel on. <laughs> And so we turn to page six for the Thanksgiving. Oh, we need a hymn, don't we? Yeah. We do. We'll have a hymn then. Peace, everybody. Oh, yeah. I'm the peace, yeah. Peace, everybody. A sidetrack. Sing the third hymn. The Virgin Mary had a baby boy. Thank you. 
Through Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord. And now we give you thanks because in coming to dwell among us as man, he revealed the radiance of your glory and brought us out of darkness into your own marvellous light. Through him you have given us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us your own sons and daughters. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we praise your glorious name, saying together, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And we sit for the remainder of the Eucharistic prayer. Hear us, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, through him accept our sacrifice of praise, and grant that by the power of your Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be for us his body and his blood. Who in the night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink from this, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. And so let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. died. Christ, Christ is risen. risen. Christ, Christ will come in glory. Therefore, loving God, recalling now the sacrifice of Christ your Son, once for all upon the cross, and the triumph of his resurrection, 
We ask you to accept this, our sacrifice of praise. Send your Holy Spirit on us and on these gifts, that we may be fed with the body and blood of your Son and be filled with your life and goodness. Unite us in Christ and give us your peace, that we may do your work and be his body in the world. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. And so as our Saviour taught us, we boldly pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We break the bread of life, and that life is the light of the world. God, here among us, light in the midst of us, bring us to light and life. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, give us your peace. Christ is the true bread which has come down from heaven. Lord, give us this bread for us. So come, let us receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ given for us and feed on him in our hearts by faith with thanksgiving. The post-communion hymn is the fourth one on the list. See him lying on a bed of straw. Just 
just as poor as was the stable then, the Prince of Glory when he came. of Mary and Joseph and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas time and the blessing of God Almighty the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you now and always Amen, Amen. and our final hymn is after hell <laughs>